In this series, called 30 Minute Masterpieces, we explore artworks that can be completed within a 40 minute class period. Welcome to Painting with Janine Liza. Materials, paper towel, watercolour paper taped to a board. This can be 90 pound or 140 pound weight. I'm going to use a dry palette and the little paint palette that comes with it. Some water, and looking at the brushes, the palette came with the brush, which I'll most likely use, but I also want to have handy a small brush, small round brush with a nice point on it. I'm also using a flat brush, a three quarter inch, to lift water to mix paint on the palette. Let's get started. I'm going to use the brush that came with the dry palette. It's not a super strong brush, it's quite, um, it's quite soft. I'm just going to put some water into the yellow and you have to put a little bit of extra water because it's uh, very dry. I'm going to start the painting with five stippled circles. Stippling is when you kind of dot 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 in clusters with your paintbrush. I'm just using the tip of my brush to make small dots and going around in a circle and I'd like to leave the middle white. I'm going to do five of these, so I'm making them a certain size so that I can fit five across the page kind of staggered. I'm using the very tip of the brush to do the stippling. I'm just making sure it's nice and round in the middle just touching it up before I move to the next colour. These five circles can be done in any colour. Because I've staggered my circles, I can fit three more here. If you're following along, and painting with me, you can pause the video or fast forward it any time where needed. As you stagger the circles you'll see that it's a bit of a zigzag pattern. Now we're going to take just plain water and just touch the dots around the centre of each circle and smudge some of that colour into the centre, into the white area, in a very light value. So we don't want it in the same concentration or strength as the dots. We just want a light value in the very centre. I'm going to put some of this light value in the white patches between the dots as well.
Now with the large flat brush, I'm going to put some water in a palette, maybe three or four drops, maybe five. <laughs> I'm going to get some black paint from the dry palette, so I'll have to wet it a little bit, and make a little bit of a grey. This grey is going to be like doing a light sketch before we darken it up later. We'll just test it on some paper towel. It looks dark there, but it will paint up lighter. Before we apply this grey, we're going to have to make sure it's dry, or dry enough to paint on. You can see if there's any shiny parts, you know it's still damp. So we'll take some paper towel and find a clean part and gently just place over each circle and lift, but always finding a clean piece of paper towel to do the next one. You may have to open up and fold it again to get a clean patch. Now they should be dry enough to continue. I'm going to start with the grey and I'm just going to drain my brush at the edge of the metal right where it meets the brush just so there's not too much liquid on it as I paint these lines that I'm about to paint. So I'm going to paint some grass strokes coming up from the bottom of the page. Here we go. You can go over them a little bit if you can't see them too well. You can see how the grey is coming up a bit lighter now. Now I'll double check that these are dry before painting a stem that goes right up into the centre of the circle and then I'll paint a little tiny grey circle at the top of the stem. I can also paint the circle first and then paint the stem down from that. If the grey is coming up a little bit too light, you can always add a little bit more black to it. Now I'm moving to a finer brush, which is a size one round. It's a very small brush, but if you have a tip on your brush, you can just use the very tip of your brush instead. I'm using the concentrated black paint from the palette now with the very tip of the brush.
to paint some fine lines that are coming out from the centre of this seed head. Once I'm done painting these lines, it's roughly about eight of them, you could do more, they reach into the circle of stippled colour. We're going to do some shorter ones now that just sort of reach to the edge of the lighter part of the circle. And this kind of gives the impression that there's little pieces sticking out around in sort of a sphere. Now, very carefully at the end of each one of these little lines, I'm going to put three little lines. Two going out to the side and one straight forward. I'm going to paint this a little bit larger now on some paper towel, just to give you a little demonstration of those lines. With the very tip of your brush, we're just going to add three little lines, just like that, to the end of each one. Now we're going to paint the lines the same on all the colours and make beautiful rainbow dandelion seed heads.
Now I'm going to paint a few little seeds that have flown away. I'm going to put little clusters of coloured dots around the canvas and then add their little stem details. While I let that little bit of paint dry, I'll focus on strengthening the look of the stems, just by getting a little bit of black paint and gently painting over some of them, and perhaps some of the grasses too. Now for the little tiny stems on the seeds. I think I'll add just one little bud here to the top of this stem. I'll paint this larger on some paper towel as well so you can see the shape of it more clearly. and my Rainbow Wishes painting is now complete. I hope you've enjoyed doing this class and I look forward to making the next one. Remember to sign your artwork. I'll just pop my initials down here and there you have it. For more art classes by Janine Liza, please go to Art with Janine Liza on YouTube.